Now that's an immaculately raked yard. My yard is ready for the winter. So glad all those damn leaves are off of those trees next door. But yeah, everything is cleared out. There's my burning bush. I am happy. <laughs> so today is community shred day in my town. And I am getting ready to go make it happen. I've done so well this year with purging. Yeah, purging is underrated. I am about to make this happen. I'm so excited. I went through all my papers, my bills, and everything. And um, I'm about to drop this stuff off at City Hall. And now on to the next level. I don't know if y'all can see our windmill there. It's 9 a.m. and under normal circumstances, I would say it's great to be out early before everyone else. But I live in a community where mo every, most, every, I shouldn't say most everyone, but there's a lot of elders here. So the elders will beat you to the punch. They will be up in here. Look, walking dogs and everything. Where should I go? Thank you, sir. Let me ask him. Okay, I, there's the truck behind me. I don't even know if you can see him now. Oh, going the wrong way, sir. Wrong way. Okay, y'all, uh, I am at, what's the name of this place? Vassar Health Foods. I've been passing this place by, like, quite a bit. Didn't even know it was a health food place, so I'm going to go in and see what they got. But what I don't understand is, why is this car parked here with the door wide open? Like, there's no one in it. <laughs> this is, like, the second time I've seen that. <laughs> There's no activity here at all. It's kind of creepy, so I'm going in. <laughs> Wish me luck. Well, someone was in there, but they didn't hear me. They were way in the back, and I kept saying, good morning, good morning. So it was kind of creepy, so of course I, my defenses were up, because I'm like, all right, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. You better bring yourself on out here and stop acting like a little Keebler monster out of a Stephen King movie, like uh, Needful Things. <laughs> Anyway, the woman came out. She was sweet as pie, but I went in for um, some non-toxic deodorant. I'm looking for the best non-toxic deodorant, and uh, next thing I know, she was talking my head off. She gave me a history lesson on Henry Ford, Harriet Tubman. Um, she, she went down the I don't know why we had this conversation. I think she just wanted to talk. But for some reason, I thought she had brought Henry Ford up because she was trying to tie it into what she was telling me about the deodorant. And she was saying, be sure not to use any deodorant that has P-R-O-P-Y-L in any combination in it because that's cancer-causing agent. I'm like, oh, okay. And she was like, and you know, Henry Ford, he was really a good man. So she was going on. And so I thought some kind of way she was going to tie that into, you know, and then we got off into Harriet Tubman. And I, you know, I'm like, there I go again. It's something about, about me. I attract people like that and they want to talk. But, you know, I would have loved to chat with her for a long period of time, but I, I needed to leave because I had other stuff to do. So I, you know, and I, so I was pulling my money out and she was like, wait, let me look at the ingredients of this deodorant. Because she actually pulled some stuff off the shelf after reading the um, directions or the ingredients. She was like, no, we can't sell this here. She was like, never buy this. And I'm like, OK, cool people. But then we got back into the history lesson when she was looking at the ingredients of the deodorant I was about to purchase. And I'm like, how did we do? You know, thankfully, I was able to get out of there without, you know, 
I don't know what I'll say, and I gotta go. <laughs>